Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we turned in all of our Maradon quests. We also completed some quests as well. And today, we are going to be doing a little bit of auction house stuff. And a little bit of profession stuff, too. And then we're going to make our way to Booty Bay. We won't be uh, too long in Ogremar, I think. Just want to smelt some of this mithril that we got while we were in Desolus. There we go. Got our mining to 192. Not too shabby. And now, we're going to head over to the auction house quick. Hope you guys are all doing well. They had a announcement. And Diablo 4 is coming out. June 6th, 2023. So it's pretty much half a year away. Looking forward to that. Got some complaints about the pricing of the game, though. And not many people are a fan of the Battle Pass. But we'll see what happens. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. I've not uh, pre-purchased the game yet. But knowing me, I am a sucker <laughs> for Blizzard games, so I may uh, I may bite. But we'll see what we'll see what happens. I'm just like eyeing it over at the moment. I hope it's going to be a good game, but we'll see what we'll see. I think the, the smartest thing to do if you're like on the fence is clearly to uh, you know wait and see what the game's like. Wait for, like, the first patches to go through. Or maybe just wait for the first season. See how the game is. Well, $7.99 for this. Install this for... Six, $6.99. Wait, we got a sale. These boots, we got to sell. There's none on, on the auction house. Pretty nice boots. I guess they got good stats. I would sell these for at least five gold, I think. I think those could sell for five. Pretty damn nice gauntlets here. Anything that's of the monkey is usually pretty good. And these aren't on the auction house. So I might sell these for, I don't know, ten. See if these sell. Ten gold's not that much in Wrath. And we're going to buy some bags today another thing that I want to do. Elemental Earth. Pretty sure we don't need this for engineering, so I'm going to sell it. It's pretty damn cheap. It's over like 33 silver. I think we'll try to sell this for, I don't know, at least 99 silver. Maybe, maybe we'll just throw like one gold there. Usually Elemental Earth. I remember in Classic it was worth so much. Then we got the Iron Ore. Selling for 68 silver each. So we'll sell this for... Uh... Not too sure what we should sell this for. Got like a 10 stack. Let's see what the other 10 stacks are selling for. There isn't any. Yeah, the 20 stacks are selling for 53 each. So this should really sell for like, I don't know, 5 gold if we wanted to sell. Sell for like 5, 10. See how that goes. And we got some Strangle Kelp. This is selling pretty well. I think those will get bought up pretty quick. So maybe we could sell this one for 8. Hope we get some sales. You need to save up for uh, Northern Flying. Cold weather flying is what they call it, I believe. But yeah, they got like a bunch of different versions of Diablo 4 that they're trying to sell. And, uh,.
the base version. I think it's kind of lame that to get early access to the game, you have to buy the digital deluxe version. So get to, to get to play four days earlier, you gotta pay 10 bucks more. I think that's kind of like, I don't know. I don't like that at all. Oh, wow. Touch me Nancy, dude. Thank you for the glyphs. Shout out to Touch Me Nancy. That's awesome. Uh, let's check out our glyphs. I think these are, are they minor majors? What do we should we take? Icy veins? Moves the all all movement slowing and cast time. Slowing effects. Your evocation also causes you to regain 16. I think this one's better, Icy Vance. It's pretty damn good. Is it a minor? It's gotta be a major glyph. Yeah, we're kinda locked. We're locked on our majors. Should I remove it for this one? I like this ice armor one. Pretty good. This this Frost Nova one for AoE. I think I'll just save these for now. Is this a minor? That's another major. I lock, unlock my uh, my next major glyph at 80, <laughs> so we'll hold on to these for a while. Thanks for sending me those, though. And I'll hold on to them and then... May your blades never you know, maybe if I... I think for PvP, that... Uh, that Icy Veins glyph would be really good. Much better than the Nova one, but I'm doing a lot of AoE farming, so... The Nova one that you gave me and the Ice Armor, I think, are the best for that. Then we have some other stuff that... There we go, some sold there. We got all this other stuff to sell. I'm not going to sell all this stuff today, guys. We'll just keep it here. I don't want to be an Ogremar for too long. And I think we're done. Do I have anything else to put into the bank? Oh, So we'll put the stone in there. Let's put some stuff in there. Deep rock salt. Probably should have just sold that. The mage weave I think we can use. And then we got elemental water. I forgot to sell that. And then we forgot to buy bags. Damn it, my bad. Alright, so we're going back to the auction house. <laughs> gotta focus. It's one thing in life, you know? You gotta stay focused. Okay, nether weave bag. These bags seem to be like the most reasonably priced. They're 16 slot bags. It's like the cheapest they get is 944. Yeah. That's what they're selling for. So we're gonna buy four of these. Take like a pretty much like a 40 gold hit there. But it's worth it. And then we'll use these bags here. For our bank. I think our bank doesn't really need slots though at the moment. You kind of all right. With that. There we go, guys. New bags. Come on. Is there another like, bag slot thing? There we go. There's a reason why I can't swap. I guess because it's in that bag. Right? That would be... Yeah. There we go. Alright, so there we go. We got the bags all done. What are you looking for? Put those back in the bank. Guess we can swap these. And this one. And we're good. Go forth to victory. All right, guys, so off the booty bay we go. Hopefully we got a couple of sales. We now have uh, Portal Ogremar, which is nice. We got that last episode. And it's a rainy day at Stranglethorn Vale. Yeah, we're going to do uh, like probably my favorite quest chain. Talk to me! Booty Bay, the Blood Sail Buccaneers. You sure seem eager to work, matey. 
Not sure why some landloving undead mage is offering help to the Blackwater Raiders, but I'm not going to turn you away. Our ship just docked here in Booty Bay, and word has it that our rivals, those damned dirty bloodsail buccaneers, have been spotted all over southern Stranglethorn. All the boys are too busy hitting the grog and looking for ladies. What I need is a scout. Check the cove just north of Booty Bay along the Savage Coast and see what you find. Alright guys, so we're going to do this quest. It probably won't be in Booty Bay too long, but I do want to do at least one quest chain while I over here. And then we'll get back to, uh, I think, Tanaris and you know, doing Zulfarak and leveling up our mining and professions and all that stuff. Been kind of loped in on, uh, on fishing, though. Gotta get back into that. Nice to get that up to 225. Might be a good idea to do that here in Stranglethorn Vale. Yeah, but what I was talking about, the Digital Deluxe allows you to play four days earlier. I think that's just so, uh, I don't know. Not a fan of that, but not, you don't, it's not just that you don't, you get a bunch of other stuff for that extra $10. It's actually $20. You get like four days, actually, you get to play the game four days earlier. You get a mount. You get some transmog, like armor. And you get a premium seasonal battle pass. So I guess it's... I, I would assume that... What do you think the battle pass were? Like you know, 10 to $20 per season? I'm not too sure. So I'm not too sure what I think about that either. But they had to find a way to monetize Diablo, right? Because Diablo 3, they, they probably weren't making anything off of it. They did sell, like, you know, an expansion. I think it was called, like, Reaper of Souls. I did play it, but it was a long, a long time ago. Oh, here we go. We got a mage coming for us. So yeah, you don't get too much more for your 20 bucks. Mostly like cosmetic stuff, battle pass. You get, I think like the, the getting to play four days extra, I think every, like the standard edition should get that too. If you b get to buy the game, you know, pre-order the game, you know, you should get the four days extra. What the, they, I think that's the main reason why people would even buy the deluxe version is just to play the game on when when everybody else is playing it because that's what happens right your friends all all buy the game you got one buddy who's like oh i'm buying digital deluxe and then you're like oh great so you're gonna get four days get to play four days earlier than everybody else and then everybody else is like oh, okay whatever i'll tell you about deluxe that's just how it goes i have a friend who buys like the the highest version <laughs> every time? <laughs> every time we play a game. But hey, you know whatever he he, he really enjoys cosmetics and stuff though. Me, I'm not. Uh, I don't really jump into. I like cosmetics, but I don't really jump into them unless I really enjoy the character I'm playing. Like, if I, if I like the character and I'm playing it a lot, then I'll buy a skin. Or something like that, just to, like, you know... You know, support the game and, like, you know, enjoy, enjoy it a little bit more. And then the final version is, uh... Another, the Ultimate Edition. And that's 100 American. And then you get an accelerated seasonal battle pass unlock, which includes, you know, the premium season battle pass that the deluxe edition gets. 
and plus 20 tier skips and cosmetics. So, what the heck is a tier skip? Like, I hope people just don't get this, like, you know, pay to skip content. I'll have to look into that. One thing I hope Diablo 4 isn't, I hope it's not Diablo Immortal. Because if it's somewhat like Diablo Immortal, it, it just won't be good. Blood Sail Buccaneers. On top of the barrel, you discover a map with some hastily written text on it along with some coins. The map shows Booty Bay with a red X drawn precisely at the spot at which you are standing. The scribbled text reads, You men are too secure. A camp at this location and keep quiet. Wait for the signal from the southern command post before attacking. If anyone approaches you, kill them. All right, so here we go. We got the the orders. So we just gotta head back. Yeah, I'm not too sure what to think about it. I haven't bought it yet. I'm gonna look into it into the battle pass a little bit more and what this like tier skips are, <laughs> and then I'll make my decision. So I was really excited for Diablo 4. I really thought that, you know, they could really revamp the franchise again. I was not happy with what they did with Diablo Immortal. I didn't play it at all. I think that's why I didn't really get too into uh, Lost Ark either. It was because of all the the pay to skip or people call it pay to win aspects of the game. Cause I consider pay to skip, it's it's pretty much pay to win. In my eyes. And then we're you're gonna see tons of videos on the internet about that, about like is is Diablo 4 pay to win? Or we'll see a bunch of those. <laughs> For sure. And I'm actually interested. I actually want to know. What's up? Blood Sail Buccaneers. Sure, I remember you, Mage. Heck, from scouting, I see. Shiver me timbers. So the Blood Sail Buccaneers are planning some sort of attack on Booty Bay. By the nerve of those scoundrels, Booty Bay will always be run by the Blackwater Raiders. This is bigger than I thought. Report what you have learned to Fleet Master of Seahorn at once. The old Sea Dog is around town somewhere. <laughs> Glad I could help! Winner is the fleet master. Let's sail buccaneers attacking Booty Bay. They might as well throw themselves off the overlooked cliffs. Nonetheless, by bringing me this information, you have done my fleet of washbucklers a great service. The Blackwater Raiders, thank you. Crowd speaks highly of your dedication to the Blackwater Raiders. I am going to trust you with a mission of extreme importance to the fleet. Infiltrate the so-called Southern Command Post the Bloodsail Buccaneers have established on the wild shore. Raid the encampment, bring me their charts along with their written orders. We shall see exactly what those scum are up to. Yeah, well. Alright, so there we go. We'll head down to the shoreline. We'll slay some pirates. Getting a lot of wrap upgrades here. I wonder if we can AOE these mage I mean these pirates down. I I know we can't do it with the mages. They're by far the most annoying, but any other uh, pirate would be good, I think. So we'll give that a try. So I've gotta slay these swashbuckler guys. 
isn't really a group here. There's more pirates on this beach. So we don't have to fight the warlocks. We'll stay away from them, but looks like we got, uh, what if I could AoE these guys down? I don't think I can. I'll fight this guy if we gotta run away. This could be tough fights for me because these battle bolts are nasty. And then these annoying duckybuses. Pain. If I could one shot an imp, probably can. Nope. But one thing Blizzard's doing well on, though, I know I've been like kind of hating on them this episode. Even though, like, I haven't even played Diablo yet. I, Diablo could be an awesome game. I hope it is. But they did a really good job with, uh, the Dragonflight leveling. I've enjoyed it. So. Gotta give them the benefit of the, of the doubt there. Not sure how the end game's been, though. But I haven't heard anything bad yet. I can pull these two only. Let's see how this goes. I get blasted by shadow bolts. I think we can kill her like that. Oh wow, these guys got wrecked. Don't underestimate the power of our new rank four blizzard. It does a lot of damage. All right, so we got the charts. Heads down the shoreline here. And now we just need those. Here's the swashbucklers. Got the orders. Check this uh, best here. Mithril ore, nice. Big score. There's Cowardly Crosby. Just hanging out here. Trying to sell some some dyes, some tailoring supplies. So many warlocks on this beach. Swashbucklers. So there's a couple on these islands here. Maybe we can check those out and group some of them up.
There's a bunch of warlocks here too. What on the ship? Are there ships like this too? Those are deckhands. Yeah, it's a little dirt different mobs on the ship. It's like this is <laughs> Usually there's way more. Which is kind of kind of weird. Or maybe that's just how it is in Wrath. Like, I've never done this quest in Wrath. I always remember this place being, like, a really, like, tough. Like, there's a lot of pirates. I don't know if they, they reduced the amount. I don't think they did. But I never remember having trouble, you know, trying to find swashbucklers and, uh... You know, the other pirates. There's another island here we could have checked. Doesn't look like anything spawned up here. It's just another warlock. I guess we just gotta slay warlocks. That's our best bet. Should probably should go for this guy. Make sure to let him cast. We'll shoot a crossbolt at the at the warlock, and then we'll just oh wait, okay, I got him down. Trying to kick that. Sims actually hit pretty hard, from what I remember. Actually got off. Missed though. Oh look, washbucker. Nice. Starting to spawn. There's another one. They like spawn right on top of me. But yeah, just to clarify, I don't really mind that they're selling, you know, higher versions of the game. I don't want anybody to think, like, I don't know why this guy's so shocked that they're selling high versions of the game. The only problem I have with it is the early access part. <laughs> I just don't like that. I think the base version, especially if it's like, you know... Like a, a pre-order, like you should, if you like, just pre-ordering it, I think should get you early access. I think that was kind of a low ball move. Everything else, I don't mind, like getting the, like the seasonal pass and all that. And I don't even mind the seasonal passes because they got to make money somehow. And if the game, you know, is generating, you know, profit for for Blizzard, then they can keep, you know, adding more stuff to it, which is nice. Because we probably won't see another Diablo 
for another decade. <laughs> when was the last time Diablo 3 came out? I think it was like 2012, 2013, something like that. One thing I do th do believe, though, is that it will be better than Diablo 3. It's gotta be. It just seems to be the standard now. Like, like every game has like a bunch of. Uh, it's always like a bunch of different versions that you can buy. Most of the time, yeah, it just packages stuff like cosmetics and seasonal passes to it. it seems like seasonal passes is like the new. I wouldn't say new trend, but it's a, it's a something that Blizzard's putting into their games lately. They did it with Overwatch 2, and now they're doing it with Diablo. And I guess you could say subscribing to WoW every month is pretty much just a seasonal pass. I actually wish WoW had a seasonal pass instead of a subscription model. <laughs> Probably be a lot cheaper. Kind of got us hooked here with the with the subscription model. I think it's a little too expensive. That's not bad. You know, monthly for like a hobby, it's it's pretty damn cheap. Especially if you're playing as much as I am. Alright, so we're going to check out this island. I hope there's some pirates there. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I was like, I was hoping this. I don't know, I, I never remember this quest being like, you know, like this. I guess I just got unlucky with uh, the, the spawn being on call warlocks. Oops. Anchored this crab. It'd be awesome if actually WoW was on a seasonal pass. Like, they would have to, you know. Like, the season would be the raid you're currently on. The raid tier, I would I, I would assume, right? But if they did that, would, they, would there still be, like, classic WoW? I don't know, probably not. I think the subscription model allows them to do things like classic. Where you just subscribe, you don't have to buy a base game or anything. You just subscribe, and then you got all the all the classic content that you want to play. And then if they did that, the raids would most likely suck. I think <laughs> they wouldn't be as good in retail because they would be rushed to push out content to you know unlock a new seasonal pass for players. He also got a new Diablo 4 Storm mount. Looks pretty cool. One thing about the Storm mounts, they make them look really they're good. At least we got one pirate for this uh, journey over here. I guess we'll fight these guys too. Why not? Big damage from the blizzards though. Like, look at this. I was. I wish like that whole beach was all like 
you know, swashbucklers and pirates. Would have been great for AoE. Seed of Life. Oh yeah, we have to go to uh, Moonglade for that. Need to remember that. We need one more swashbuckler, guys. One more. I think we'll find one on our way down here. There he is. Final swashbuckler. I should turn off the reputation. Might be a little too spammy. I'll turn it off. Got their reputation. Kind of like just seeing like loot mostly and uh. Text chat with other NPCs and stuff for quests. Let's turn this in. Greetings. Hoy Travis, what word do you bring of the Bloodsail encampment to the south? I wonder if we can check out the orders. Oh, you can. I'll check these out quick. Bloodsail orders. Pay attention to these here words closely. Me hearties, for we only got one shot at Booty Bay. I've sent old Duncan Scout to the north and told him to wait for the signal. The damsel's luck will drop anchor off the southern cape for purposes of supply. Captain Stillwater, the little shorty, is to have his crew prepare to haul up all the plundered loot. I'm sure Brutus, that blockhead, will be on top of things. I want Captain Keelhaul to bring the riptide up to shore from the southeast. We'll send his crew in on foot when the signal is given. That big lug Saltuf can take the men in swinging I want the black spot placed on Revelgaz. That's him right here. And Seahorn. Send him right to the bottom of the sea for all I care. You blokes are responsible for salvaging anything that might be of use for our little project with Van Cleef in the dead mines. I'll give the order for Iron Patch to fire the guns and artillery barrage will keep any Blackwater ships from leaving or entering the port. After the Crimson Veil vale has unloaded her guns, I'll bring her alongside the Riptide for support and provide reserves as needed. Once Saltuf and his boys have fired the town and all hands are on deck, we set sail to give the bay one more shelling from the Savage Coast for good measure. Fleet Master for Allian. So there we go. That's their little plan here. Peace, Looks friend. like they're working with... Uh, with Van Cleef. Perfect Travice, now that we know their plan, it's just a matter of time, and to think the fools have dropped anchor just off the cape. 
wonder if you can check that. No, you can't check the charts. Alright, guys. Well, that's going to be the end of today's episode. Next episode, we'll finish off this question. And we'll uh, have a fight with uh, the Blood Sail Buccaneers. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.